was a man, a bad man. <laughs> Don't you ever. <laughs> bad man me again. Don't you ever. Oh. God's sake. Right, I haven't changed the title. Okay, we can do that. The bad, bad man. What was the bad thing? Um... <laughs> oh. Zora Rock versus Buzz Rock. Um. Let's test this. Next. I think I play. I think I play a Latios over a second Mew. Where are you? Hold on. Skype. Why? Everyone plays second Mew now. But it's so fragile. <laughs> it's a delicate <gasps> flower. You see this? Yeah. And then you see this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not nectar. Oh my god, something's happened. Doomsday! With a tier 1 sub for the fourth month in a row. Thank you very much, Doomsday. Welcome back. Yeah, Nick. That's heartbreak for Japan. Why are all my Zoroks brown? Because Jack's me playing the Zoro side, and I'm playing the Buzz Rock side uh, for this bit of science that we're doing today. Don't worry, it won't be all night just watching the same matchup, but we're going to do an hour and a half or so of just learning, hopefully. So here's one for you, Jack. He only played two Guzma Seb, you madman! It's not that unreasonable in Rock, to be fair. <laughs> okay, go on. There's one. Here's You've got thing. one for me. I reckon Tor's a pretty good player. I've heard, I've heard that. Yeah. So, let's use his list. Aha. With a lele though, because he's gone one step too far this time. It's not that good. What don't cut for the lele? Just a super. Yeah, that's fine. That can be the that can be the bust of the matchup to bust. Whatever. Your scissors I'm rock. Let's go. So it works, right? Um maybe. Joe keeping a purple thing. I mean it does increase our turn one outs too much, I think. Too much to ignore. I've got one well, one slot, Joe. Yeah. It's one of Tor's own rules to have a very high count of early game supporters. Mm. Um, I think I'm investing in another one of these fine pieces of property. That is some prime real estate you're looking at right there. But you're so aggressive. Hold on, hold on. I didn't say. Where are you off to? I'm off to the land of ladder. <laughs> You're not going to land of ladder, we're matchup busted. <clears throat> mm. Do you prefer it to third field blower? Or third Guzma? We'll start off with this. I wanna yeah, we'll start off with this. Okay. Right. Stop sharing and let me challenge you. <coughs> Double rod on the list is super clutch. Yeah, double rod's pretty chill. Basically, it's because you play one of this card and you want to sick more every turn and not have to bench it. And you want to always get B-string activations. So, that was a brave move. Treasure. But you have to realise that Todd's decisions come from lots of testing. Sometimes it takes like 50 games to understand why there's a card in one of his lists sometimes, so. Nice theme deck, exactly. We're trying to play the best of the theme decks right now. Seeing how that pays off. So this could well be another 09 stream, but I think I'm actually gonna learn a lot from this one rather than just learning Mega Guard is bad from the last one. <laughs> So that's progress, right? Progress. 
What we got here, we got ourselves some Zoro v Buzz action, some edit, some pre NAIC action. Snap. made it a non-theme deck with the purple. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see if it's still theme deck. Get ready for the surprise kick. Uh, it's attached to second energy. It could be a. Oh my goodness me, it is a surprise attack. Well then. That's. It's like a baby buzz, it's fine. Uh, yeah. It's one prize. End and I did nothing. You end a surprise kick. Surprise attack. Hello. Jack, okay. are, you, are you receiving? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, we told us how's it going? Mm. Booty made top eight of the Dubai special. I mean, that's the size of a League Cup, and it was a scoop fest. So it was smaller than League Cup, right? There was twenty-seven players. Yeah, that's incredible. Hot and bothered. <laughs> it has been a bit sticky today. My room has been like a sauna because I'm on the top floor. Yeah. And with a computer rendering videos all day as well, it just sucks up all of the air because it needs to power about 100 fans. Mm. Not ideal. But hey. The things we do for Nuzlocke. Little Remorad. How does going down to full prizes sound, Jack? I do not want to keep that Remorad around, I'll tell you that for free. But I also don't want you to be doing a million damage. <laughs> oh dear. Quite the catch you've got me in here. Mm. Well, let's start off by getting one of these little boys out. Young Boys FC. Young Boys FC. That's a real football club. Where do they represent? I can't remember what country they're from, but they are one. Someone will tell you in chat. Buzz bricks for you so much. Yes. True. But we're level on prizes, and we're brown, and he's weak to brown. Brown. <laughs> we're brown. He doesn't like the brown stuff. God, Zora requires so much thinking, man. I don't like it. Welcome to the world of thoughts. 
Why can't I just attach an energy and knock out? That's my plan. Yeah, I know. Just swap. Buzz Brown. Give me some cards. Ah. Excellent. Got them all. Excellent. Ah, Switzerland. There you go. Someone new. Not bad. Pop one of these here. Love it. Todd Rooklin with the resub. Thanks so much, Todd. Whoever so... you are. <laughs> Whoever you are, you mystery man. <laughs> uh... Well, it looks like I'm just popping you. Pop. Pop you got shot. Thanks very much for the sub, Todd. I wonder if we'll ever we'll ever find out who the who the real Todd Rootcliffe is. The realest Todd Rootcliffe. Will the real Todd Rootcliffe please? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. <laughs> I refuse. Bobby Leshy Jackson. Cheers so much for the follow, dude. Thank you, friend. See the real Todd Rook live? Please raise yourself from your seat. You really just say that. Arise from your throne. Rise. So told. Are we winning our NIC this weekend? There we go. Is. Little Jim Jam. Right. That's when you know it's true. So this is this is the first test. Predicament A. Predicament A. Do we deal with Rock the attacker and like give you? Yeah. Which gives me sledgehammer, or, or play around sledgehammer, yeah, and deal with sushi, or, no, or deal with uh, Lele. So, I don't know. So this game, we're going to do one, and we're going to see whether it works. What do you think in this turn? Lele. Okay. Bold. <laughs> <laughs> Admirable. Admirable. Mistaken. Um. Actually, killing Rockruff with a Lycan Rock seems good. True. Let's do that. Let's do that. That seems better than. Especially if you have a DC. Yes. Yes. Okay, what else am I doing with my turn? Buzz Rock is so bad, it doesn't even have a theme, Poggers. Bob Jump. Pop. Go here. Pop this on. Pop back here. Is it a multi switch player? What's your response? You do this twenty, one forty, one seventy. Well, I don't think you can hit two hundred. But that feels like a really brave statement. Bombers. Hmm. 
Gustavo Romero, 88. Cheers for the follow. Welcome to the team. Wait, okay, you have to multi-switch. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Um. Okay. Has an E. I'm brushless yet. at the moment, so that's good. Got a gym membership now, and I'm walking in a swimming pool, which is good to sort of like rehab. It's the only real exercise I can do at the moment, which just kind of sucks. But have you felt you've improved since you started? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's good. So we can't get this boy because it's just game losing. Because he always gets a mew down with his hand size and three Zarawaks. Or just another light and rock down. So we still can't bring a GX out onto this board. Do it. We do have some beast ringer gold giggles to go. Ring ring blares. One ring blares. Okay. Um Ring ring. Did someone call for the doctor? Problems. Sledge hammer. Problems. Mundo problemo. I'm running into problems. Mm. Well, uh, turn begins. Am I drawing some cards? Amazing. Inspired. <laughs> you really are something special. Okay. How does our turn continue? Immediately hit more decisions. This deck has too many branching paths. Okay. If I do this, 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 I make the game harder for myself, I think. If I kill a Lele, you can't be string anymore. That seems really good. But if you can't be string, you're less inclined, you're less. Trying to play a GX down, which means I still have to take two one prize knock out. Okay, that doesn't matter. Uh... Dave Allen, how's it going? Great. That fish. <laughs> and I'll trade. Mum. <laughs> Mum. 
no fair. It's dangerous rogue. I said you want to text. The box is bigger, and I get really excited and want to press it, and it's just wrong every single time. No, Jack, press the <laughs> press the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Fishing rod. Just in time. Uh, not really. <laughs> I lied. Troubles, not troubles, waffles. Hey guys, at least when you're playing this game, Pokemon don't die. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Nah, no one's dead, it's fine. You're not poggers. What have you done for my poggers? I am concerned about the hammers. I guess. Choose a Pokemon to be my active. See much of a route for me here. Mm. It does involve some pog pog plays. Interesting. Trade. Excellent. Trade. Excellent. Trade. <laughs> you have to say every time. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. You got all the hammers. Yeah. I can't do that, so I have to. Gotta get back. Get like this. Pog jump. Pog 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 jump. Pog jump. Rodneys. How many Rodneys do you know? she wrote there. 
I had to attach the lichen rock, promote lichen rock. Kill. No. Oh, like just M try and live. Bars. Okay. Well, even though you had sledgehammer turn, dealing with the rock rough felt very important. Yeah, you, I'm pretty sure so, you lose if you don't do that. If okay. You did, if you do it the other way around, it's terrible. Okay. Absolutely out of control. It all goes wrong. It goes horribly wrong. That's when you start growing as a Roselia player. It is. Probably should let you go first. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Let me get a scoreboard going. Oh, do we have to? You win. Results in. Then now. <laughs> okay. I have a question for after this game, I think. But for now, it is your turn, so. Turn, good, sir. Mm. With E hammers everywhere, I think this is actually correct. The wazoo. Holy smokums. Pog pog. Oh, he's only gone got the pog pog. Bog, 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 bog. Oh, beetle. What have you done? I think you could, could have done something differently. Uh, float stone, something. Well, I don't know. 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 Bog, bog. I could have I had a way of getting a Mew down that turn, but at least we have no Zoroark this turn, potentially, without, like, depending on my top deck. Ew. Okay. Pog Pog. Preview of this Valencia final. I won't be playing this deck, I know that much. And I won't be playing this deck? Question mark? You might be. I definitely might be. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is my exclusive experience with Buzz Rock. Greetings. I haven't experienced any other experiences with Buzz Rock. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't experienced any other experiences. This is the entirety of experience that I I get with Buzzwell. Oh, if only I'd got a Mew down last turn. Mm. Food for thought. Mm-hmm. So if I do this, do this, do this, I then have exactly one trade. Alternatively, I can get a supporter card and maybe have more trades. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Oh, one consideration card for that 60th is uh, actually playing one Rev Valley or thing. Yes, 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 yes. I was talking to Luke about that today. I don't know that you saw. But... Yeah. It's less yeah, mandatory no, in this. Yeah. It's less mandatory in this because of the strong energy claw slashes, but we're playing less strongs now, so. Yeah, it'd still feel really, really comfortable. You might want to counterbalance it. Um. No, not Mallow. Jeez, I clicked in. Hello. Mallow is not what I want here. 
Na, na, na. Holy poggers. That's Mew DC copying Iron Pool. <laughs> He's on to me. So, 50, 70, so choice band strong doesn't kill me. How long until the Celestial Storm set review? Kiwi Kevin, 27, just for the follow. Um, well, I've put it out there <clears throat> on all the Facebook groups to try and get some community review going. That could be something we look at today, actually. We could look at uh, the results so far of that community set review. Yeah, that would be good. Fun. Um, so yeah, we've got the I've got the community review going out there right now. I should actually probably link that for anyone who's not done it, who's watching, for the forty six of you guys in here. Mm -hmm. um, the the Zeb Striker's not in this upcoming set. It's in the one after that. Yes. Um, Fusible forms. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Are you looking at the board state, Drew? No. Okay. Let me know when you are. I just want to know whether you think I was better. It's your turn. Um, I want to know whether you think I was better evolving the active Zoroa instead of the bench. It, it like this gives you another prize, but if I leave the if I leave the Zoroark active, it's so like it's so prone to be getting buzzworld later on in the game. I feel like it's better to give you one prize now than leave you with some Eakin two prize later. But I could be wrong. Possibly. I mean. Worst case scenario, I beast plus plus choice band your active for a, knock a sledgehammer knockout. Yeah. Which is a really bad case. <laughs> yeah. But it's not super with... likely. Yeah. Oh, Mad Captain's done the link for me. What a guy. Oh. Cheers, Mad Captain. But yeah, feeding a free prize isn't ideal. I was yeah, like I say, I was just worried about like even you doing just one eighty to it's so fine because you can just clean it up later. I guess I can parallel it away later. Is the argument for that case? That is paralleling away your own ball, whatever. You were in a good spot then anyway. Mm. I don't know. I think I'm in a spot of bother either way. So now I have one Zora mark. Yes, that's the big issue. That was my argument for maybe evolving the Zora arc and just trying to get. I think, many I think the biggest, are walks out. the biggest decision was that you chose to lead as a ruler going first, which is kind of weird. I had to. Oh, I, I thought. Oh, you have... predicted out the others. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought I. Yeah, I wasn't focusing. Yeah. So yeah. Once, no, uh, I'd, sorry. I'd always. I lost my, I'd always go for that. I lost my train of thought. So once we, I, my goal is a hundred responses on that little. Um, community review thing. I was, I mean, you know, it's been viewed by like 3,000, I think, is our reach or something like that. And obviously, Verbank is like 20k people. Hey, Fonte is like 8k. I was hoping for more like two, 300, but I understand that it's, it takes a while. It's like 10, 15 minutes of work, to be fair. So I can't really, uh, I can't people. really fault people. Yeah. But um, at the same time, it would have been really cool to get more responses because it would it just makes the feature much more relevant and better to look at the more responses we get as well the more accurate the data will be yeah so exactly. it would be good but like i think at least 50 is good enough for us to yeah look into it anyway because that's just not so now that we're um, getting to that uh 100 mark we're uh We are going to be 
then adding those things to our current slides. The slides are done. I think I just need to go over them with Jack. Um, and then we can get rolling and hopefully record it this week. That is not Pog Pog. Thursday is probably the only day I can this week. If you can. Unless we do it Monday night. I want to have a streaming next Monday. Yeah, Thursday is probably the day we've got to do it if we can. If we want to do it before Valencia. If that works. For you. Yeah, that works. Cool. Wait, Thursday before Valencia. Yeah. This Thursday? No. Three days time. Three days time. Yes. 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 How's that for a slice of fried gold team? We'll record so in three days time. So you can expect that probably this weekend, I would say. Would be a fair guess. I don't think anyone else has got reviews out there, so we'll be pretty quick on the scene. But don't tell anyone. It is a world set, so it's important to get it out there early. And make sure it's right. And make sure it's right. I'll be feeding you guys false information. Brackets raised broken. I was pretty, so far with our responses, like this is the thing, with such a small sample, you can't really know. Uh, overall community feedback. Overall community feedback. Potentially I could add questions in at the end of the review about like what CP and stuff they're on to get a broad view, but I can't really correlate the answers to answers. I can, I can say end of, end of the day, I think one of the only ways we'll ever be able to do it is just by gaining more net responses, yeah. so... We've just got to try and hopefully reach for that. Well, ideally, we get some super odds in here because we've lost a lot of basic energy. So spread the word, people. Get, get people clicking. If there's any feedback about how we've done that, done it as well, feel free. Like if you feel we could do it a different way. One thing that a lot of people have said is, can you not link the translations in the actual questions so it's not two screens uh, we're going to look at doing that next time but the thing with google forms is you actually only have like a limited amount of space you can yeah. have per question so we need to work out a way of like condensing down the translations if we do um but if there's anything other than that that you want to feed back to us that you feel would be the alternative is that we beg david that we can use their uh, their ones I don't think so. Where are you? How many have you ditched? Mm. Well, you just B-stringed for no energy, so... Maybe you did B-stringed for one energy, I didn't see. Either way, it wasn't a massive amount, I'm pretty sure. No, it was not. <laughs> You're not wrong. Jerry feeding Jack more info. Oh, I top decked one of the cards I was going to mallow for. Look at that. I'm quite good. What am I doing here? Attach, evolve. End me into Super Rod. I can't end you. Not even into Super Rod. No. I refuse. Bugger. <laughs> it all again. <laughs> so I've got that. Got that. Oh, this this mallow is so much harder now. I have everything I want. I don't like this. Um. Wait a second. Wait a... Okay, no, I haven't discarded it. Okay, let's get this. Let's get... DJ91 coming in with the sub. Thanks so much. The resub, I should say. That's awesome. Thanks so much Excellent. for the support. Thank you very much. Oh, it is the start of the month, isn't it? It is, yes. All so the hopefully resubs all, coming in. All the resubs are appearing. 
awesome. Wild Reese have appeared. So we've just got a dodge. A couple of things for a turn until we find N. Mm. You have double sushi. <laughs> That's like five Zoroark sometimes. That is Pog Pog. Ah, there's a rod. That's one of the cards we needed to dodge. Yep, that's three energy. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't actually make sense for me to play this elixir or this card. I should just dump it all. Actually, I can always play this. Why would you not play the elixir? Because just I need it... to be string a GX this turn to win. Okay. I can't goose me and I can't lower my hands either enough to draw any cards. Okay, that makes sense. Double B string, here we go. How many elixirs have you gone through? Two, so you've got an elixir out as well. Two B strings and an elixir. There's the GX. Got the bleeming energy though, didn't we? Fuck. There's the ring. The band. Yeah, we draw the energy cards. Not poggers. I think we lose now. Kodo Zoro, new meta. I don't think it's better than Mad Cargo Zoro. That's a lot of cards. <laughs> but Ludicolo could be strong in its own right, I believe. I like the card. For those of you veterans of the game, there's actually a world deck called King of the West, which mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Ludicolo Mad Cargo, and they're both being reprinted and pretty much upgraded um, in the new set. So, well, the Mad Cargo is actually a downgrade because it's the exact same card with one less attack. Um, whereas the. Oh, you don't have Mew. Oh, you still have a GX attack. Okay. Um, but the Ludicolo is an upgrade. Gets a big buff of hit points, and its attack is buffed. It loses one attack, but that was the attack that you never really cared about because it was just healing. So, oh. I have a like and roll. Ah. Well, that sounds like it's game then. Not poggers. Just the one one line of Mad Cargo and Zoroark is so good from what I've seen. Oh yeah. It's it's, it's insane. It's pretty broken. Well what do we do now? We need to somehow Get that super odd in our prizes into our hand from the top of our deck. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay.
Why does anyone play Buzz Rock, by the way? Anyone? Anyone got any ideas? Someone tell me. Could not be any further from Frog. Uh, frog Frog? Yeah, it's frog? more Frog Frog than Pog Pog, I tell you that. <laughs> it's, it's trash. Uh. I know I'm going to ask you this question, Joe, and you're going to have no idea, so I'll ask the chat as well. Does anyone know if Valencia Day 2 has a cup? For the record, I have no idea. <laughs> well, I know you too well. Dockers86. Cheers for the follow, dude. Poggers86. 86 whole poggers. You like Ludicolo Magcargo? So do I. It was one of the first decks I built uh, from the new set. Whoops. Kicking things around. I'm starting zero are way too much. Maybe we cut them to two. Sycamore hand, but I'm not I was sure. gonna say that's not a sycamore. I'm confused. What was there? Sushi lichen. You're running two twos, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and two rods. Maybe I just But it's also could... it's also guaranteeing a bench Pokemon for me, which is Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you can make the argument for either. Nick can't play Pokemon. Uh, Electro doesn't work for GX Pokemon. Is it not? No. That's awful. Everyone does this. I mean, I read the card and I was like, oh, you're giving it two prizes, it's not good. But it turns out... That's also correct. It's even worse. It does have really cool art though. Like the art is very good. Art Appreciation Society. But yeah, but again, we're then in the Art Appreciation Society, so we should probably stop talking. Extra Jimmies. Russell knows Jimmies. <sighs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Why did you have to have hard rock? Nothing is safe. <laughs> that just went from three stars to one real quick. <laughs> You feel like there should be an Omnifocus artwork appreciation page on Facebook? I could go on for years about artwork appreciation in Pokemon. I do need to start doing a collection video series. It will be a long, long series, though. That's got multiple seasons, I reckon. Yeah. Season one, Wizards of the Coast. No. Season one, no. base set. A whole series on base set. Yes. Holy poggers. A whole series on base set hollows. <laughs> I have no idea what to do here. Other than... Nick likes Lugia EX from Unseen Forces. One of the most highly collected cards. 
very awesome. Pretty much skyrocketed Unseen Forces, among a few other key cards, but the Lugia was one of the big catch cards. Makes Unseen Forces near impossible to get for less than four figures. That's insane. That's crazy. I definitely... Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Even if you have another energy, I'm so, so done. Mad Captain, you really like the secret rare Dialga? The silver one? I've never really liked the full, like the full coloured cards. I feel like you really can't appreciate the art on some of them. The gold ones are really weird. I think the gold Reshiram and Zekrom. Yeah, you can't see you can't see anything. I had a gold Reshiram, I think, or I can't remember. I had I had a gold one of them. Ah, uh, she's got it all. I've got. Thoropod or Rock for the NIC, same amount of experience with each. They're both pretty good. Uh, if I'm playing Pod, it's with the caveat of having at least one counter catcher and two minimum E hammers. That's what I would tell you. Otherwise, you can play a pretty standard Zora Rock. Two minimum E hammers. Like you need to, you need to play the perfect Pod sixty, or you can just play. The standard Zora Rock. <laughs> so. Well, that was an uneventful win. Yeah. I had two Zoro prize, and no way of stopping you taking prizes, ever. Mm. Why are you cancelling my challenge? So I'm challenging you. Ah. Classic organisation from the Omni Fellas. Full Art ho, ho from uh, Dragons Exalted is a really good Full Art Nick, you're not wrong. Dragons Exalted just in general has such nice art. That Mew art is my favourite of all yeah, of the Mews. that's a cool Mew. Even the Rayquaza. Way Quaza. better than the new one. I had, yeah, I still have a Full Art Rayquaza. It looks awesome. What else is in that set? I think Terrakion was, right? There's a Registeel, I think. Yeah, there's a Registeel. Which is your favourite Reggie? That's a good question. I've heard rather heard one. Uh, well, I used Regice... Like, that's the only one I've used in a deck. Actually, that's wrong. I used Reggie... I used uh, Reggie Rock for a bit as well, with Magna Rock, which is actually the, one of the most hype decks. I just meant in general. I didn't even mean TCG. I, know, I, I really don't care about VG. any of them looks-wise. Like, they're so irrelevant to compare. I guess. I think Steel looks the best. Yeah, possibly. Steel looks clean. I really don't like Reggie Gigas. Okay, yeah. Reggie Gigas is my least favourite. 100%. And a clean 50. Favourite full art from the black and white era. I'd need to probably do a little bit of research before giving an answer. All the way up to XY. I mean, to be fair, the black and white base Reshi Robin Zekram. Yeah. The re Reshi Ram and Zek Rom. I said it the wrong way around. Reshi uh, Rom. Uh, <laughs> Zek Ram. <laughs> um, those are some clean artworks. Like that's the introduction of full arts, and they were clean. All of like all of that first little block was so good. Yeah. Then the thunderous tornadoes, and then the um, sword trio. Yeah. And Victoria they were all and... so good. Um. Oh, that Victini art is insane. Little Victini in a full red border. Yeah, I think I like I liked the pre EX full arts more than the actual EX full arts. I think I did. So I really liked the blue of all of the um, plasma ones. Plasma ones. 
I didn't ever play Plasma. It's amazing. Plasma Deoxys from off the top of my head looked the best, I think, in my mind. I think I, I bought a Plasma Leader off Nick. Before we even, like, kind of knew each other as well. Excuse me, sir, why do you have 108,000 blue gears? Yeah. And can I have one? I was like, hey, is this dodgy geezer? He's not going to mug me <laughs> off, is he? He's clearly a collector. <sighs> He's doing 60 of irrelevant to a baby buzz wall. No. But Nora's doing 40 to a Ramorade. <laughs> I don't want to leave this thing as a little puffer. Because that puffer gets punched in the face. When was that, Nick? It must have been... Three or four years ago now. You played Turbo Lugia for a while, didn't you? I did, but I, I got that off him for collection. Ah, okay. Let me look at those... The two on this look up, but... Verizion and Genesect full arts. I don't remember what they look like. Ooh, Genesect full art was pretty clean. Verizion full art. Oh, okay, I do remember the Verizion. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I need to get pretty high rolly if I want to go for the Sledgehammer KO. Attaching the I liked how... That's pretty bad, though. I liked how the Plasma... Um... Badge was in like the back of all of the plasma ones. That was that was something I really liked design wise. I think Don't we're forget, allowed, we're allowed to greedy draw when we uh, when we play a double rod. That's kind of the the whole mindset. Point. Uh, can we be this greedy with the supporters though? Yeah, the new full art um, hobo is pretty cool as well. The colorless one. Mm. I like Dark Ray X, yeah, that's not a bad card either, at all. Black and white hero. I feel like Landorus is cool. That's probably more be me being biased than anything though. Okay. Let's try this on for size. Dude, where's my Zoroarks? <laughs> give you one of these. Too much art appreciation to be had. It's weird, I don't know I don't know why, but every now and again they'll just do a really, really good set of art and then like the next few sets will be in my eyes, not mediocre but not as oh my god, where are my Zoroarks? They do so they do purposely have sort of like different underlying themes. Yeah, for different like sets. the un, the pretty much all of the hard gold of art. To be fair, is some of my favorite art that they've ever made. Yeah, agree. Apart from hey. I think primes are a bit of a letdown, but I think the rest of those sets are amazing. Yeah. Like Keldeo and Celebi. I, a, I think I have both of those. They're both really nice as well. One for like you really dislike as far as having played the card as Seismitoad. Uh, I don't remember. I have one, but I don't know what it looks like. Seismitoad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks alright. I'm just going to type in full art and see what comes up. Pretty much all of the new full art supporters from the Sun and Moon era have really, really impressed me. They've got worse over time, but like Kiawe, Gladion, Lusamine, all of those ones are really cool, I think. Lysander was a really nice full art that I was never able to get, but... Was really like Espion EX is a good full art. That thing is stunning.
Mr. Float, please. Please. Oh, Vapor Sons. He missed. He didn't miss. I did miss. <laughs> well, you did miss, I guess. I keep a float around, which is good. Guaranteeing to get. I don't know. Where, I don't know how controversial this is, but I really like that golden shaman that they released as part of the premium XY thing. Golden shaman. <laughs> I've seen some people not be impressed with those, but I think it looks really, really good. I actually really like the Reggie Rock from that set. The Delink the is obviously amazing, yeah. but the full art Reggie yeah. Rock actually is really clean. It looks good. Hey, Mark. Um... What's your favourite artwork? Hey, you started it, it wasn't us. I mean, we did bring up the artwork, the Omnipoc artwork appreciation society. But. You can't blame us fully for that. So this is something nice to talk about rather than just turn after turn of Zorro versus Buzz. But I only see card text. <laughs> Maybe it should be done. If you look up, Mark, there's even more to the cards. Little tentacles. Tentacles? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 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 Wolf is my favorite piece of art. <laughs> 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 oh god. Ah, you just had an NAIC talk. Toward and the Schultzes. How clown we going, lads? PM has to play. <laughs> Do this. This. <laughs> wow, Mark, really? They took me out of. <laughs> uh. How? <laughs> this is impossible. Oh, that's not Pog Pog. That seems like at least one awkward mon goes. Mm. For, for what it's worth, mm. I think it's the Lichen Rock. Yes. Because that thing, I don't know whether you know, you can't end, uh, you can't max elixir do, or oh, b string do. Why is it even in the deck? Hmm. Even deck toward out discarded twenty energies against Buzzrog. That's gross. Jesus. That's offensive. Okay, so, we have one float in the deck, which is terrible, but we've got to hit it. Um, we have Ooh. all of our elixirs and all of our B-strings. I have another good question, Joe. Go on. Which full art lucamine do you prefer? First one. The non-crazy one. Which fill out end do you prefer? Uh, second one. Yes. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> <You passed. laughs> 
Mm. True. <laughs> uh, fast detest. Most other men would have said noble victories. <laughs> I'll in. He only has one trade, right? Oh, but it's going to be a good one, Joe. Best not be. Do you know how good it's going to be? Oh, bog, bog. No! No! <laughs> Nanny! <laughs> yeah, she's off. She was not having that. No domestic abuse around here. She's come hey, crawling back, just like they all do. <laughs> Leave the kitty alone. It was fine. She loved it. Look, it's fine. Peter. <laughs> I did give her a little playful strangle. <laughs> well, look at this matchup being busted right now. This is not what I expected. How many? How many games? Like, because I can't see your hand. I don't know when you're. I don't know when you're buzz breaking. Uh, every been... hand of every game, actually. <laughs> okay. Even the one I won, my hand was two elixirs. Oh. So. That is not Nectar. Best deck in format, mate. Hey, little kitty. Mark, I don't know if you've seen, but I think Luke told us today that 30% of people voted in our poll that Stephen's decision was a four-star card. Oh, don't tell him. Oh, sorry. Find out more later. Stephen's decision is a blank star card, which you'll find out very soon. He also allowed a short answer response for that, and most of them said that it's like Bridget, but the turn later. Hmm? <laughs> If Sylveon could do it, why can't we all? Well, good sir. It's by a big majority as well. It's not even like a joke majority. Although maybe it is next level. <laughs> Mark, I'm surprised you haven't been banned by Nightbot for those that many question marks, but that's, that's quite right. He's spot on. Huh? No, I also, um, I turned off Nightbot for spamming messages. Oh. Because it was getting a bit confusing when someone would put, like, three exclamation marks and they'd be banned. Get out. What are you doing here? Incineroar GX, six star. He's not wrong. No, oh... Okay, it's fine, but that's not where I wanted it to go. Um, give me a little rougher out. You know what could be insane in Baby Buzz Rock? Just playing its own multi switches or e switches. E switches used, used to be in this deck. Used to play. Used to play one or two. Yeah. They're so integral. They're I quite think. good, aren't they? They're no, quite too much space. Cut the B strings, they're useless. <laughs> if the energy's on the board already, why do you need more? That's what I'm That's saying. That's my question. That's my question right here. Is this deck actually just better by playing 4 Elixir 2 E switch again? Lycanroc is a hard carry these days. You only play 1 GX. That's the play for worlds, boys. Reduce your buzz brick by playing an extra Elixir into E switch. Get him. Got him. Oh, let's play one Mallow in 
this deck and just mallow out your one of B-string and your one of Buzzwell. I'm so, so up for that. It hurts. Mark. Why do I always have... <sighs> Why do I always have two? Was a real prized. I don't know. Doesn't seem fair. Is it fair? Doesn't seem it. I don't want to judge. I'll make a trade. That's it. Hey, don't give me a little nibble, cat. She wants to keep the beast rings. Don't you dare. Yeah. Nibble, nibble. <laughs> You make me nibble again. More tomorrow on the stream. Oh, you've revealed we're streaming tomorrow, Mark. Thanks. With these switches, this becomes a threat. Big old threat. Max elixir to that. I laugh at you. And you're like, oh wait, E switch. Dead. 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 Got a stream so people resub and end the stream for a month. such a weirdly played turn maybe I'm just maybe I'm just terrible at playing buzz rock you can't be that bad right it's buzz rock you say that but I just do not know how to play this deck what did my turn achieve there What was the best I could have done with that turn? Like, this deck draws so poorly, you don't even know what to expect from every hand you get. So you don't even know to be like, what if I do to... this and this? Or it's like, yeah. what if my hand becomes this if I do this, Cynthia, and I can't do anything for four turns? That's pretty much what I should always be thinking, because that's always what happens. <laughs> like, I don't see me ever winning now. I need to hit uh, maybe, maybe that's not true. I think you're still fine. You can baby buzz me here, and if I can't kill the baby buzz, um. But you can always kill baby buzz. Can I always? Oh, nicely. You can always kill it. Maybe. What? Maybe. Well, 
if you kill my Mew, I'm currently not killing on board. I'm not saying that necessarily means I'm not killing it, but I'm not killing it on board. And with one Zorark. I don't know. I don't know. I think Buzzwall can definitely come back from games you wouldn't expect, is my point. It can also definitely not. This deck is so terrible. This deck is actually just terrible. Oh my god. Looks like Joe wants to just play Nuzlocke when he, <laughs> me and him were talking about stream today. Oh, what was the word you, what was the word you sent me? And I was like, oh, I think that's Spanish for let's play Nuzlocke. just an infuriating deck to play. My analogy actually reminds... The analogy I'm about to give actually reminds me of uh, what I said about Latios Galissa... No, Galissapod Frogs. In the... Sorry, I'm just sorting out my case. In the... Uh, there can be a turn where you hit everything and win and do 260 and the non-GX, and there are games where you uh, just don't, <laughs> you just do nothing. <laughs> Full art mega glaily. That's the one. Why on earth did a Molga get a GX? I don't understand what they <laughs> why they picked a Molga. Switch would be so good here. True. B strings would be terrible here. Also true. Conclusion? Cut the B strings. I'm 
I'm so done here. Do you want to look at some poll results? I want to just not play Pokemon for a okay. while. Okay, let's look at some poll results. I've got a break point pack to open. Maybe that'll cheer you up. How does anyone test a... How many... <laughs> Finish a sentence, Joe. How many people have played Buzzrock in a tournament? And all of them have must, have must have had, like, minimum 20 games with that deck. And I just don't see anyone having played 20 games with a deck, being confident in that deck to then take it to a tournament. Uh, no! <laughs> Theme deck. Torn was right. This deck is a joke. That deck is actually just a joke. It's the best deck in format, mate. So that's, it turns so out that... the best players in Pokemon are actually just people saying things. They just don't <laughs> know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean, guys? Just, Is this the end of Omnibot? Please, people no. saying things out loud with confidence without actually knowing things. I don't know what that means, Joe. I'm really scared. You see articles. You see content. You see lots of people with lots of opinions talking about the decks. When really no one knows anything about this game. Okay. And to prove that point, let's look at the Celestial Storm community set. God's sake. <laughs> You scum. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So. Take that back. Let's be honest. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely take that back because I really do appreciate everyone who uh, who's responded to this uh, community set review. It is uh, something that we that will be a great feature to our to our set review, and it brings. A sort of external look because we've done we've done our own ratings and we've looked back at our own ratings and said how they could be right or wrong but now we can do that again but with the general population or at least the snapshot that we get um and their overall majority opinion on what they think it is because there'll be times where we rate something harshly or generously compared to the community and it's almost like we can compare ourselves to the general population to see if we're closer or they are, etc. So um, here it is. It's still going on. Uh, the link is going to be in the... Or well, Mad Captain's already linked it a few times. And it is literally just a Google Forms sheet. You need to have a Gmail, I think. And that's the only criteria, really. Um, I, give, I provide the... Uh, Five star rating that we have on all of our set reviews and the links to the scans on Poker Beach and on Bulbapedia, whichever you prefer. And it's simply giving you, uh, in the case of reprint cards, which there are a few of this set, I'll give you the old card and then it's a rating of one to five. And then if it's the new card, I only have the Japanese picture. Um, maybe next time I'll be able to ask David if we can use his uh, English proxies. That would be the ideal situation because it'll save you a lot of time as well as uh, the space issues of having to do um, text translations because it's hard to space it all out very nicely. It'll either be like wedged all in together or really widely spaced and it'll just be really weird. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys can do your best with looking at the scans and then doing your ratings or whatever. But so far we have 80 responses, so we're 20 away from the goal and we can look at the... Uh, the current responses right now and look at the ma the majority vote for everyone so uh apricot maker is the first um got a one star rating by 32 or sorry 37.2 percent of the population 78 responses um this guy lets you search a, it's a supporter that lets you search for two ball search cards and i think that's pretty 
pretty obvious. Some people going as high as a four star, only four people. No one giving it a five star rating. Girls maintenance, high majority say that's a one star card. Uh, can't argue with that one. Copycat has a nice spread. Um, 22% say it's a five star card. The majority, 43% of people say it's a, uh, a four star card. Copycat's one of these weird ones where in some formats it was highly played and others it wasn't. Um, post rotation, I think a lot of people might have their post rotation caps on for this one because we are losing M and we're losing some other stuff and Zoroark draws lots of cards so sometimes you can copycat like 10 card hands and such so we'll keep an eye on this card. We're not going to give you our list obviously because we want you to watch the set review but this is just what the community is saying right now. But yeah, 22 people saying it's a 5 star card. 5 star card basically just says like it will be in a majority of decks as a staple. Not just like an option. This year lets you find yourself to um, what's it called? Prism, Prism Stars. 40% or just over 40% say it's a 2 star card in their opinion. So basically a 2 star is probably won't see play but will have some experimentation. Or it'll have experimentation but um doesn't have an obvious home. I think there's a lot of ball search and there's a lot of supporter search. There's stuff not many. Right now, so. There's not many decks that play two Prism Stars. Is no. I think another reason. Yeah, at the moment. Uh, some people giving it three star again might be looking towards the future. Steven's decision. Look at the spread on this. There's people just don't know where where they land on this card. Fourteen point seven percent say it's a five star card. The highest majority right now is that it's a four-star card. Evening, Matt. It's always seen play in Japan to get Beast Energy and Diancy. That's pretty cheeky. Um, it's the, that's the only deck that plays two Prism Stars right now, though, right? And even and even then, in our format, I don't know. I still don't think... I, if we have it now, I still don't think I play it in Bosrock. Possibly not. I mean, Maybe it's super, I super, uh, what do I say? Super supporter light at the moment in the current list we have. Like, you can only fit two M, two or three Cynthia, so you're probably not yeah. making space for Lysia. So, yeah, as Mark said, 45% of people say this is a very, very good card. Which is, uh, Tate and Liza, that lets you either, it's either a switch or you get to draw up to five. Yeah. No, it's, it's Shauna, right? Oh, is it Shuffle Five? I can't remember. I can't remember. It's either Shuffle Five or draw up to five. I always think of it as Giovanni's scheme because it's uh, like those choose to affect. Someone will tell us in chat. But lots of people say this is a three star card, Olympia scene play, but we are in a Cosmo format, so. Who knows? TV reporter, everyone says it's bad. Underground Expedition again. Large majority say it's bad. Some people might, might see some experimentation. Acrobike, a lot of people saying it's a five. Lots of people adding on a four as well. People are excited to see this card return, of course. Yeah. Crisis Potion, 40, almost 46% of people say it'll see some experimentation somewhere, but no obvious home. Oh, it is Shorter or Switch. Cheers, chat. Um, only a couple of people saying it's going to be very good. Energy Recycle System is a reprint card. A lot of people landing on the three star rating. It's three and two being, well, all of these, anywhere between this zone, all the way up to four stars. A lot of people, 20 people voting that. Friend Bowl. Some people saying it's as high as a five star. Not many, of course. Most people landing on experimentation, but probably no home. Same for Hustle Belt. A lot of people think it's an experimental card. 60 is a big burst of damage. Mm -hmm. So it's finding a way to make that work. And I think this is kind of the category for cards like this right now. Life Herb, everyone knows it's bad. Lurble. Bit of a divide on this one. Lots of people say experimental slash bad. 
rain my brush, everyone knows this sucks. Some X6 people saying it's a four star. Pokenav. Oh, a bit of a divide, a bit more of a divide on this one, but majority saying it's on the worst side of everything. Press Potion will be very good with Quad Reggie Rock, but this Rakim system is based on standard with some ex some consideration to expanded. It's as long as people actually read the rating system, <laughs> you know. I can't trust people. Apparently, that's the that's my moral of the story today. Um, lots of people saying Commandment Shrine this is the one that puts a damage counter on GX's in between turns uh, they say it will potentially see some play Rainbow Brush and Ultra Crossma. Don't, don't do this to yourself you don't want to do this to yourself uh, Sky Pillar Bit of a spread on this one as well. Some like it's weird when there's a split between like. Well, I guess it's all this blend of twos, threes, and fours. Sky Pillar is basically the. Oh, what was it called? What was the last bench protection thing we had, Jack? Was it called? Mountain Ring? Mountain Ring. There you go. Knowledge. And still, somehow, people think it's a four star card after after knowing Mountain Ring for years. Okay. Ariados, people saying it's pretty bad. Maybe there's some notoriety to it. Sceptile, big old spread around this one. Most people landing on the three mark. Uh, mostly because I guess people just see it's green and it stops Buzzwell hitting it. Shiftry is also green. It also gets itself into the three star rating. Slither of people saying it's a five. One person said it's a five. Blaziken. The non GX, a lot of people saying this is two to three, sort of experimental accelerator. Sean has a go. Blazekin GX, again, people, a lot of people giving it two stars, a lot of people being quite generous, I think, with the three star rating for a, a 28%. More generous up there, my goodness. Magcargo, oh man, Magcargo started off as like a heavy five, it's dropped to majority four now. 35 responses, but still being a well-loved card. What One person saying it's lower than, like, ver like playable in a current deck. So, that'll see play from the offset. Articuno, lots of people giving us a two-star. Vast majority. Experimentation. For Alligator. Uh, yeah, again, people, people willing to experiment with stage twos. Crazy. Crazy people. Kyoga, lots of people say it's very bad. I was pretty surprised to see this. Lots of people just saying this is trash. Mm -hmm. Ludicola has a pretty interesting spread as well. There's a lot less full believers that give it a five star rating. Quite a handful of people giving it between three and two, but also a handful just saying stage two nonsense. Swamper, mm -hmm. similar to uh, similar to the Ludicolo line, but with a bit more optimism, I guess. No one's saying it's just bad. Most people in and around that range. Drawing cards. Electrode GX. A lot of people giving this a three star. I wonder if a lot of people read it as other people have read it. <laughs> they can power up anything with five energy cards, but I don't know where this comes from. Like this is probably so far the biggest surprise for me. Other than, like other than Steven. This is probably the biggest surprise graph from me. Like less than 10% of people think it's just outright bad. And I'm like 100% that it's bad. You gotta get five energies in your discard pile to power up a non-GX attacker whilst losing a prize, which mitigates the whole reason you're playing a non-GX attacker. And you spent search cards into this, like you've invested into this card. Three stars. Save it for the video. Okay. Lantern, a lot of people don't like it. Others say experimental, but still probably bad. Monetric is a nice little wheel of colour as well. All sorts going on here. Bennett, this is the uh, target whistle one. Uh, a lot of people 
people say it's bad or could be a tech maybe in the Ben MGX deck, which there's a bit more optimism around. A lot of people saying it will be experimented with, would jump straight into its own deck. Deoxys, people are pretty content that it's just a better version of Promo Mewtwo, so that's an easy, easy pick there. Mime GX is Meme GX, as we all know. Sableye, experimental at best, really. Celesteela has a nice wheel of colour. People not knowing how to rate this card. One of my low-key favourite cards in the set. Me and Joe had a good old discussion about this card when we were doing our set review. Mm. I'd, I'd be in this camp, I think. I'm behind. Jirachi Prism Style, 50% people know it's bad. Yeah, Mark, it does 160 for one if the total between both players is six prizes. Yeah, it's definitely definitely one of my favourite cards in the set. But don't tell anyone, guys. I want it to be the, I want it to be the sleep of the world, okay? Just keep it on the DL. Shit. Basically, it's like a better baby buzz on the turn that it's doing the baby buzz thing, but completely ignored on every other turn. So... Hmm. <laughs> Better gross, some people are optimistic. Uh, I'd much rather stay around this camp. Sizzle GX, there's also a big wheel of colour going on here. A lot of people think it's experimental at best. Some people saying it's an easy will see play, so that's interesting. No, it's not when your opponent has it. That would be crazy, Mark. That's just like, oh, hello, dead. <laughs> yeah. Stack attacker. A lot of people saying it will uh, see play from the off. Altaria. There's a big wheel on Altaria. No one knows what to put, what to say about this one. Wow. Some people say it's a five-star card. Six people believe in an Altaria GX. Oh, and I know Benji, Sean, and Rabiotti are part of them. <laughs> Is that three of those five votes? Six votes? I don't know, but the day after Sheffield, they were asking me how to make it good. Oh my god. Okay. Salamence. Some people are. Tree, maybe with eyes on the lance in the future. The Salamence, uh, I think it's when it's active, you can do a Lysander effect. Yes. Salamence GX. Oh, you big clown. I don't think we're getting this. Are we not? I don't know. We might be. I can't remember. I, I heard rumours that we're not. I mean, it is totally no better than a one-star card ever. Yes. So, I don't really care too much that it's in here. Yes. Lassias Prism Star, huge, huge hope and uh, expectation on this guy's shoulders. It looks like... This could finally be the support Dragon needs since it lost DDE. Because Dragon's been trash ever since it lost DDE. True. So this could finally be the right direction. You do need to get the energy in the discard pile. And you need to get yes. a bunch of Pokemon on your board. Yes. So at the, but, moment, it, at the moment, it looks like exactly a Rayquaza card, rather than like a it just, but it's just umbrella dragon help. It's just good though, isn't it? Yes, it only fits into one deck, but the card it's 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 like um, Sogolator Prism Star. The card's just good. It's just it's like it's going to be in every every metal deck until it's rotated. This will be in every back dragon deck until it's rotated, provided you have an engine for it, the same as you do for Sogolator. So it's just a good card to have, I think. Possibly. Lati Os Prism Star. This is the attacking one. Again, this might be the Lance waiting room. That's literally what I put in my notes for this card. <laughs> I saw that today. Uh, lots of people oh, the waiting. Room. Here's the highest rated card, I believe. Yeah, it's definitely a higher majority. Rayquaza GX. Blow stuff up. Draw cards. Etc. Good art. I'm happy. Good art, art appreciation. 
Next time we do this, I'll have a second rating for art appreciation. Uh, knowing knowing Verbank, I bet it'll get more votes as well. It really will. You don't know what Ray GX does, Mark? So when you bench it, you get to, or you can choose to, remove the top three cards of your deck, put them into the discard, and then attach a basic energy from your discard pile to it. Um, so it's like kind of like the Dark Ray GX. Uh, it's GX attack is for a single grass. You get to dump your hand and draw 10. And then it's main attack is for lightning, grass, colourless. It does 30 times the amount of energy on your entire board. So the intention is to speed through the deck, milling as much as possible with your rays, to get multiple rays going. Uh, then use the Latios turn alongside Elixirs to then have hopefully multiple rays set up, swing in big numbers. That's essentially, nice as soon as you hit seven energy, yeah, you're rolling. So, uh, I think the biggest hiccups from the offset for Ray is going to be non GX decks, um, like Greninja, Xerneas Break, Auto Loss, Unlucky. <laughs> um, what else? It's not really too concerned about Ability Lock. It does everything turn one. It does everything turn one. I guess uh, the only ability lock would be Sylveon. Uh, no, 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 no. Glaceon. Excuse me? Glaceon. Mark space. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Ray has Elixir for exactly one tournament, but that tournament has happens to be Worlds, so... <laughs> Whoops. B-String will help Ray? I mean... I don't think you have space for B string and stuff beast. like that. Maybe maybe one B string and one like Feromosa GX or something like that. I was thinking today that I literally thought today that um Greninja is one of your awkward matchups, and I was thinking of what Pokemon you could play to improve Greninja. I was thinking of like one copy of Bulu, one copy of Feromosa, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, Trash Launch, there you go. Mad Captain, that's the one I was thinking of. Trash Launch is a big problem. Space. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the the build I have right now is Turbo. Ray Garb, does that work, Mark? I love you. Del Catty, bit of a spread on this one as well. This is a card that I'm kind of a kind of a fan of. I want to try and fit it in something. I kind of want to fit it in Ray somehow. But... I think it's. I just worry that it's a stage two, uh, stage one. Sorry. Yeah, but I think I like it more than Palpad. Palpad to the hand, Jack. Palpad to the hand. Can it be good with the Vicavolt? I think Vicavolt's too slow. You'll lose to Turbo Rays, so... Mm -hmm. And you'll lose to Turbo Rays and Ability Lock more often. And you'll lose to Bricking more often as well. So I think Vicavolt is almost never the way to go. Yeah, and then it starts losing to, like, Eels as well. Uh, not Eels, Squids. Yeah. Whereas Turbo is just... Turbo. Like, the, the cards are so synergistic, it makes sense, but actually, they're only synergistic on paper when you actually look at matchups at that point. You sacrifice so much just for... Like, you sac sacrifice so much speed as well. Mm. Rukan just... posted a Ray Garb list? Hello? Tell me Where why he... Where is this? <laughs> oh, dear. Why is slacking bigger than every other card on this screen? I don't know, it's a tower was saved. He is massive! <laughs> but it's good, it's good because Apricorn Maker and Snorlax are the start and the finish of the thing and they have bigger images than all the others. I don't know how that worked, but it did. Uh Kecleon. Bad. And slacking. Wait. Again. We skipped past Dunsparce, hello? Where is Dunsparce? Oh, there he is. The I want to know what people think of that. The of trees. People yeah. don't know what to think of it. I think it's a post-rotation fella. Fella. I think for now, it doesn't see play over, just like Bridget. Or even like a load of Vulpix, maybe. Even Treasure. It's, uh... I think it's favourably comparable to a load of Vulpix, but I'm not sure. You, you sort of have to play four Dunsparce rather than 
one alone in Vulpix. Um, so. Yeah. What do one to five mean? It's star rating. You can see right at the top. We're almost finished. I'll, I'll skip back to the top in a minute. And yeah, slacking. Lots of people there. That's a bigger win of cheese than I thought. Yeah. But ability lock is ability lock. Yeah. We're fresh out of ability lock post rotation, apart from uh, Glaceon, so. Yeah. And when you're turning off Diancy and when Strong Energy is going, maybe it's tankier? <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. 81 responses. Someone's done one while we've been here. So, yeah, the, the 1 to 5 rating is just there. What about Muck? Oh, yeah, Lola Muck, too. You're right. You're right. Muck. Yeah, so there's the star rating system. Hopefully you guys can read that from there. It looks right. Basically, five is good, one is bad. Basics. <laughs> is the gist. You can't be bothered to read, at least if you know the order it is. So yeah, give us that's a uh, little run down a ruski of our little A little community set review. Obviously, ours will follow this week, so that's good. And, uh, yeah. Let's play some Squidums. It's hilarious how people say how bad Malamar draws when you look at w what just happened with me playing Boswell. It is comical. Comical. Matchup bus is out of here. I'm done with that. Never touch him no, again. Leave it on. It's, leave it it's on. It's inaccurate. I was rubbish. Prove nothing. We need to have good players doing matchup busters. That's why we've gone wrong with this series. Excuse me. I was talking to, about me, not you. I'm broken. Should I tell Joe that Malamar's the worst deck in the format right now? Sean <laughs> says yes. Buzzwell does not fail well in matchup busters. Luke's not wrong. We've done two matchup busters, and Buzzwell's come out terrible both times. <laughs> to be fair, the first time it was playing the wrong side of the coin. Yeah, but it's, well, it's lost harder this time. No, it's the same, right? It went 8 2. You and your stats. Don't argue with a mathematician about maths. D, D. Ah, I was going to say we could look at the special results in Dubai. But there's... Oh, yeah, they do have the results. Okay. Oh, we could also not. Yes, we could also not. Mika Bulu, game eight. I could read them out. I'll read them out. I'm already too stressed for this chat. Can we, can we not? I'm out Zorro, today. Zorro Garb won. Beat Buzz Rock. Well done. <laughs> well done to it. It's all okay, boys. We've got the guru down. Oh, Christ. I recorded this deck earlier today without guru, and I feel bad for uploading it without guru. But essentially, the whole video is me just saying how much it's good with guru, so... Mark 
hitting on the guru while it carries me to another win. God, that starry-eyed guru. <laughs> Benji, you want to test against Malamar? Cheers for the cheer, Benji. Uh, it's England are playing tomorrow, so I'm actually not free. Oops. Benji and testing a mega law. Mm hmm. So we really didn't do much. I might draw one card pre-end to see if I need to end. Oh, Pog, Pog. Pog champ, the champion of Pogs. Guru has done it again, boys. Just when you thought he'd done enough this game, he's gone and done another thing. At pace. In a big way. Rabby coming in with a resub. Cheers so much, Rabby. Hey. The Tord Schultzes and Nico are all on Discord. That's a that's a prime real estate Discord call. I wonder what's going on there. Why, why weren't we invited, Joe? You weren't. Oh. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Right. You did disappear for an hour. I did. Interesting. Whilst reasons. me and Luke... Whilst me and Luke were playing... What were we doing? We were talking about something. Playing hot potato. Playing oh, we were talking about his job. That's a mistake. Your first, some say. Definitely not much worse. Players with less than five digit earnings are not welcome. Just that. Ah. So close, I'm at 700. <laughs> mm. I'm very far off five digits. I mean, he's broken full. Commentary cash, though. Oh, boy. Not Still really. very far off. Not really. <laughs> Oh, this could be a really pop pop turn. Why is there a meta gross on my screen, Jay? Don't blame me, it's on my side. It's someone else. <laughs> So how many videos are getting uploaded during Valencia and why are they all going to be Nuzlocks? Um, I mean, they're all going to be Nuzlocks because we're not here. So you can't record. True. How many? I can tell you because we have a plan. In the four years we've had a YouTube channel, we've never had a plan. I literally asked Jack what a plan meant in Google Translate today. <laughs> That was what I then. That was what I then said. Um, 
yeah, yeah, that's what it was, wasn't it? That's what we yeah. said, it was a Nuzlocke. <laughs> so, you're actually getting four Nuzlocke episodes, I believe. To feast your eyes on. Plan. You watched our video of top 10 decks and you got some stuff to say? Go for it. We're all ears. I didn't see what you said, Kirk. I mean, you're more than welcome to hop on with us if you want. Just tell me when to add you. Sorry, I got someone. Someone said something bad about our Nuzlocke, so I had to quickly put them in their place. You leave that series alone. Ninja doesn't lose to straight Necromalley. It's so much easier than Ultra Necromalley. Hmm. I mean, in my experience, that's just not true. If the if the Psychic Malley plays Giratina, you don't win. Unless their bench management is completely terrible. I think the way they lose is if they put, like, two Lele's and two Inkeys on their board. Otherwise, I don't see them winning. Why didn't he grab a Max Potion from his GX? I played M. Ultra Necro just wins if it has Tina. How's it different to Psychic having Tina then? It can only be worse. Technically you're both losing because one person's playing ninjas, the other's playing squids. Mm. Little Jim Jam right in there for good measure. I don't think we need blowers in this matchup. They do play Beast String in Ultra. They don't in Psychic, that's true. But I don't is there a point coming? <laughs> I don't Psychic plays elixirs. <laughs> So I discards all energy? Why are you using that? Why are you using a discarding attack against frogs? You don't. You just use your Dawn Wings and your Mewtwo. One Necrozma GX, maybe, if you have Bench Space slash Lead It and they put down Lele's, or if you have to deal with a GX because you don't, for some reason, have your Tina on board. Elixir's can mist. This is just... This Stop can't feeding be real. This, this can't feeding be the real troll. life person. Stop feeding the troll. I haven't said anything yet, but stop feeding the troll. Leave the trolls to Mark. He deals with them better than we do. There's just no way. <laughs> They've just caught me on a bad day, you see. That's all it is. That's what's happened here. Can I get a sword? You know what, Mark? You know what, Mark? Money match! Okay, you don't need a sword. <laughs> You've money matched. A thousand dollars. Oh, thanks for the bits, Bob McDougall. 
possibly the best name in the world. What match it will land is. You missed someone yeah. overtaking you in the bit war, oh, Benji. No. There you go. <laughs> he's not. He's not having anyone. This stream has escalated to new heights. I was in such a good mood today. This is a big brain stream. <laughs> I think I'm having a uh, one more game. I'm just too stressed right now, too even. We took down the Metagross, so we're ready for the NIC. Guru was pretty pog pog that game. Big Brain Academy. Now that was a good game. <laughs> Oh, here he comes. It's that... so weird how you know he's coming because it doesn't make any noise for me. So it's just like you, you're psychic. Mm. You just know. Oh, here's Hello. Me. Hello. I How's smell it. Going? Not bad, thank you. This is, is this a wind up in the uh, chat, by the way. I think Joe's <laughs> made some new friends. You've, you've been told, then. Joe, how did you get on against Greninja when you prized Tina with Psychic Mummy? I beat it. There we go. There we go. Did you prize it two out of three games as Correct. well? Correct. Beat it. Neither. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, Beetle. I'm sitting there, well, come on, chuckling. I, can see, I, I know when Joe's getting annoyed. <laughs> and you can see it in his face, he's like, Wee! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, not like this. All the cheers. Apparently you didn't prize Tina, Joe. No, not not you, not you, not you. Oh. He's talking about his top eight game in Madison, where the yeah. guy, where Ninja beat Psychic Melee. That's the game he's referring to. If you play it well, there's just no way it wins. It's just no surely. Way. Bit of a caveat there, Luke. If. <laughs> I've already had to tell Luke, I think on two occasions today, to not forget his first number one rule of Pokemon. Yes. Yeah. Well, I've just done a very bad, bad move as well. It's fine. It is uh, some of those things we talk about in chat did trigger me. I was like Joe is right now. Angry or angry? Literally. You lost in top four because... Oh, because of Greninja Brick. Oh, that is a legitimate reason why you lost, though, because that's part of the reason why you play that deck. And that is a concern with the deck. I actually <laughs> really hate when people say, like, oh, I only lost to Frost because I bricked a game. Well, you're playing a brick deck. So it's not... Uh, expect it. It's not, like, an unheard of thing to happen. More cheers. Thanks for the cheers, everyone. I don't know if this incoming. Ah. Jake, you said you didn't only do this because of Brick? 
I only lost in top four because game three I started Lele, went first, got down a froggy, then passed. He then hit two elixirs, float and energy to kill it. Oh, you didn't you didn't say that's why you lost. Okay. So much cheering yeah. going on. <laughs> PG, Mark, PG. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a statement. Interesting. <laughs> I was going to say, people don't have free PG, we do, but that's, that's something. <laughs> There's a statement there. You know what, Mark? I'm somewhat glad I didn't give you a sword. <laughs> give this man a sword. <laughs> but I agree. Someone get this man a shot. Ha ha ha! time mark out! <laughs> uh, cheers for the great modding, Benji. I appreciate it. Yeah. We don't want that. We don't want that stuff in our stream. <laughs> Three no swords. It's pretty long. I only wanted one minute. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's no way back. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> and you can you? Is there not way to untime people? Out? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> untime oh, equals fun time. Uh, is it better for us just to deal with an MK here? Probably it's right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, seven. Yeah, it is. I think I just keep these energies. Oh, it is three though. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah it's okay. Cheers. Three energy is a lot of energy cards. <laughs> and he's back. He is back. That beast energy on the Lele. Yeah, it looks like he's got a bad hand. It's not the reason why he lost, though. <laughs> oh, dear. And he didn't say that that's why he's lost. That's, that's you guys putting words in his mouth. It's not fair, guys. Don't do that. You can use Unbound for him. Okay. And you told me I make sense of, I guess. Just deleting the message was fine now. It's fine. He's part of the one deck club. <laughs> oh dear. I love Angry Mark. Use your sword on the frogs. It's not like a big season. Gave up on Baby Buzz Rock. I mean, I never liked or played the deck. He did it for matchup busting, and I mean, went badly. So. Oh man, if we, uh... <clears throat> yeah, we should just GX, right? 
Is there ever a reason to attach? No. Is everyone, are you guys ready for Valencia? Got all your bits and bobs ready? Other than a deck, I'm doing okay. You tell you what you're playing. I didn't end up getting new clothes or anything. I'm just. I don't know, going. <laughs> Did it all? <laughs> I managed to get shopping and get all the clothes. Although, one of the pair of shorts I bought, the tag said my size when I got them home. There were 30 waist. Why didn't you check? I just saw that it wasn't like a tag, as in like on the hanger. It was like one that st like stapled to it. So <laughs> I went to try them on. <laughs> oh, you did try them on. I went no when I got home. Oh, no. uh, yeah. That uh, that was interesting. Got one leg in. <laughs> Took it immediately back out again. Get out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> Also, it turns out, if you play squash, when you try and transit to badminton, you hit every shot out. <laughs> Too strong. It was awful. I could not. I've tried to tap it. Just out, out, out. Fuming. Too much gin. That's what it must have been. Too hench. You get that problem a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> Mark, what is your most played deck this season? Have you played ten different decks at ten different tournaments or? Only six have got in. Yeah, he's played some Zora for Cups. Sorry, he played Zara Pod the other day. Golly Garb twice. He played two, two very different builds of Buzz Garb. He played like Carb Ink Buzz Garb and then played Trash green, Garb. Brown Golly Garb. <laughs> Played Magic Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I forgot that Mark had his like Metagross face. Secret Metagross list. <laughs> it played Sophocles, I think. Yeah, that yeah. was well early into season. I remember what that. What a champ. That was Bremen. I remember facing someone on 4 0 who was playing Mark's list, and he told me it was Mark's list, so I knew exactly what accounts he had. <laughs> Bop. Just the Sophocles engine broken. Ah, oh, I'm glad when Ninja goes. Then other ninja gets better. Can subs post links? They can indeed. No, they can't. <laughs> Wait. Sword, I don't know. Sword fighters can. Right. You know what, Mark? I'm going to give you a sword. Careful. Can I have my sword back, please? Why did you lose your sword? Who I don't you... even know. Who Jack you... couldn't even Who tell me why. Who did you stab? <laughs> you must have used your sword. On an innocent. <laughs> Ill, Ill purpose. When I asked the other day, Jack was like, I have no idea why. I literally have no idea. <laughs> No, no <laughs> Mark is literally doing an evil laugh and rubbing his hands together right now. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Don't make me regret this, man. No, I mean, yay, Mark's face. I never know. Is it LT Kirkham or IT Kirkham? I can't tell. It's an elf. What's my initials? 
Jack. Yeah, but it, my it, name it, isn't Ian. Sounds cool. Luke Kirkham. Luke the Clown, or one word, Kirkham. <laughs> all one word. <laughs> As it is in the dictionary. Man, my new phone autocorrect is doing weird things. I was talking about Frankfurt in one of the chats earlier. It's like, um, has someone booked a flight to Frankfurt? Oh, yes. In response to your question, Alex has. Alex Dow? Yeah, I think he's the only one. <laughs> it's not nice for him to reply. Well, you know what he's like. He's nearly as grumpy. Well, he's pretty much always as grumpy as you. Nearly as hey, I am hey. not that bad. Excuse me. Oh, my lord. Yeah, you should be mine. There we go. You're on a two-strike policy. Where's my sword? You've got one. This is where somehow Mark bans us from our own chat. Oh, I do have one, yeah. I take it back. <laughs> the stream's just going to go dead now. Mark just kicked everyone out. <laughs> the stream is just taken over by Ending Mark. Ending the stream. <laughs> Hacked. Pog, pog. Oh. Viva la Mark. Sword is new meta. Everyone play a katana. Don't really want to attach to this card. It'll do nothing for me. This lets me retreat, I guess. It does make me die to a lele, though. Bob McDougal. Four cheers, ninja best deck, poggers. I think I'll hold. There's no good attachment here. What is that on the opponent's bench? Zerua? Is it? Oh, James Shiny? Cool. Shiny Zerua? Okay. Put my glasses back on, hold on. I suppose it's time to load PTCGO back up. It's been a while. <laughs> Most of the decks I was talking about earlier, <laughs> I may not bother. Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Bro, can I tell you? You had a moment again, didn't you? Let's see if I can get it in under 65. Re Ninja, that's a perfect name for it, Benji. <laughs> oh, God. So I want to develop this board. I want to carry this Mew. I want to keep blowers because of Paradigm. I remember playing Nico a couple of times with uh, when he was playing Greninja. I think I double dunked him with Zygarde. <laughs> <laughs> it was over in like five minutes. Deary, mate. That was in London. Uh, Only one internet I've ever played. It's far from Poggers. Oh no. Sorry, man. Just the bits. This is a lot of problems now. 
Oh dear. All the reasons that have been announced for next year in Europe and specials are all standard. standard. So far, yeah. No Bob McDoodle. Sorry, Bob McDougal. Got all my thingies messed up there. Neither of us are going to the NIC. We are going to Valencia next week, though. Yeah, Our 2019 so, yeah. season. No, 2018. Is it, 20, is it the 2018 season or the 2019 season? 2019. Our 2019 season starts there. Yes, it does. Mark, if you're going to have a sword, you need to keep it clean. You need to clean that sword religiously. <laughs> Sharpen it, but clean it as well. That's all just for Mark to fall on. <laughs> have, to, I have to blur chat for YouTube. I have to crop my own face out. No one wants that. If I say that, they'll do it every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Am I going to win this game? He's running. So, possibly? Benji, are you going to Valencia? Or did I see you? Oh, yeah, you're going to Valencia. Uh, do we know numbers? Oh, Benji, we're just asking if you're going to Valencia after an hour, I see. Uh, no, we don't know the numbers. They don't often release them for specials. They might be the dream happy, yes. I doubt it. I doubt it. You're not going to Valencia, sir. So. I guess you're going to Nashville Open, so you're getting at least one boost. I hope day two. Oh, yes. Yes. Only me. No Nashville. <laughs> Only me tactically uh, bobbing. Oh, it looks like Benji's going to be on the grind next season then. In fairness, if, if, play, if players in like my position actually swallow their pride and be like, you know what? I'm not at the skill level to win Worlds at the moment. It would actually be tactically correct for me to bomb day one. But no one will because they're proud and they want to do well. Yeah. Myself included. Are you going to say there's, no, there's, there's no way you're doing that? Yeah. Yeah, I think if I was doing well, I'd go for it for sure. But I mean, realistically, of the room of like 700 people that it's going to be, maybe like 50 people if that if that are like realistically hard done by for not making day two or like have the skill but haven't attended tournaments and stuff yeah yeah 50 is generous probably way less Cause if you say 700 you have to think about like the record for Almost always, it's not a 7-2 record, even at 700 people in America, it's still a top 32 record. Mm -hmm. So, if you're going for... I don't know whether it'll be top 32 or whether it'll be just a 7-2, a clean 7-2 record. I think a clean 7-2 record makes more sense if they don't want day 2 to be huge. But I guess limiting day 32, uh, day 2 at top 32 is also... It's never going to be bigger than 32. 
They're doing what? Like if they limited day two of worlds from day one to be just the top thirty two that made day one that finished day one. It's still gonna limit yeah, the size yeah, of day two. They won't do that. It'll still be X two. X two but my point is X two should probably be smaller than top thirty two. With seven hundred people, I think. See how jammy we are, we are off end, essentially, is, uh, is what we've got to do here. Get a little bit of frog the jam. No guru developed on our board. That's the problem here. No guru. No guru. Joe feels uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, Worlds is very unpredictable. I mean, what well, one Worlds, the year I was there, people injured in the final, it was Mega or Dino, yeah. was it? I mean, that, took, that has been good. I've done well in one tournament ever, it's just that Worlds. Having to sit right for that day. Ultimate meta game deck. How many masters do you think NAIC will have? I think it will reach capacity. I think I, I think the capacity will either be one thousand six hundred or two thousand. So either one thousand six hundred or two thousand. I think two thousand makes more sense because it was over one thousand six hundred last year, but I could see them just straight capping it at one thousand six hundred. Yeah. I think it's silly if they do, but. I could see them doing it. Did it not reach 1,600 last year? I thought it did. I thought you needed 1,600 for two flights. Do you only need 800 for two flights? Maybe you only need 800 for two flights. It's definitely over a thousand too far, I'm sure of it. It's over eight hundred. Over eight hundred is for um, an extra round of day two Swiss, I think, or something like that. Let me double check because I don't want to quote wrong. What's the question? How many players were at NAIC last, last year? year? Yeah. I think it was like one four. Yeah. yeah one two and one four. One three five six. So I was wrong. I thought it was one thousand six hundred. No, so fair. yeah, it's maybe this, way, this time round, maybe the cap will be at one thousand six hundred. Right, that's me done for the day. I can't play any more Pokemon. So I'm just. Why not? There's been some factors today going on. Matchups are busted. Factors. Boswell isn't busted. Uh, drawing cards is good. Even I managed to draw cards. No way. So it can't be that bad. I don't believe it. And Buzz Brick is the new Greninja Brick. That can get unstuck. That can get deleted, actually, that deck. <laughs> Absolute fuming. Um. And yeah, that'll be that then. See you on Wednesday for more pre-NAIC gameplay, I guess. And maybe something fun. I don't know. I'll think of something cool. Mm. And yeah, I'm going to be doing more uploads this week. I've done Malamar today. 
I've, I've already changed back to Guru. I had like 10 games a day without Guru. And I was like, uh, it's kind of okay. And then in the, in the stream game, or sorry, in the video games, the recorded games, I uh, <laughs> I was bricking the whole time. So I was like, fine, Guru, get back in here. So that's where we're at again now. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. And see you Wednesday. See you later. See ya.